And we're back to learning JavaScript on Exorcism and this is the fifth exercise. It's about the Poetry Club Door Policy. Find it up here. As always, it's a good idea to read it yourself first and try it on your own and only refer to this walkthrough when you get stuck. Let me jump to the instructions in the editor. And we've got a couple of these methods that we're going to use for strings. For example, uppercase, lowercase, and here's uh, something like a reference document that you click on. And it also shows you the formatting of these methods. So it might be helpful to solve the exercises. For example, here the slice option. We're going to get back to it when we actually need it. Let's go to task one first and see what we need. We need the first letter of every line. So we'll return the line. And just use the first position, which is the index zero in every line. So it gives us the S here, the R there. And that should already be enough for task one. For example, here, the Sophia example, we get the S, then the O, the P, and so forth. So one thing to keep in mind is that these strings, they start with an index of zero. But if you understand that, the solution for task one should be easy. Let us get to task two. We'll capitalize a word. And it's already a little bit more complex, I would say. We've got the example Shire, and in both cases, we've got it once lowercase and once uppercase. It should be returned the same way, so a capital S and then a lowercase for the rest of the word. An easy way to understand it is to just write it at first like this. So the first letter of a word needs to be uppercase, and all the other letters need to be lowercase. So how can we achieve that? Let's just use an example. And we can use the word ball. If it's all lowercase, we need to first isolate the B and then make it uppercase. So that we have this capital B. And then we need to turn the word ball into all so that we get ball with a capital B. Let us first start by isolating the first word. And we already know how to do that. As we've done that for the line in the first task, we can do that for the word as well. So word with an index of zero, and then we want to capitalize it. So we use two uppercase as a method, which is right here. And then we need the plus sign. So we want to add the other letters of the word. Therefore, we need the word again, but we need to find a way to get rid of the B. Because currently we've got the B as capital plus the word ball, which gives us B ball. So how can we get rid of the second B in this example? Let us just check the methods that we've got. And here we have a slice option. Let us check the reference, and here we have it. So you can slice words, sentences, lines, whatever. In this case, the str is an example. And we can slice it here at the 31st position, which would get rid of everything before the lazy dog. And here in this example, we use the fourth position, so the and the white space will be excluded. So we'll use word.slice and now we have to find the correct position. So in the reference it was 4, but we need the first position to get rid of the lowercase b. And this would give us the b, capital, and then plus all. So 
Let me show you a second example to make that clear. If we write it like this, so lowercase b and then all uppercase letters for all, we would now have turned the lowercase b into an uppercase b. And then we've added the all, but they're all uppercase letters. So this is not really what we need, as we would have this in all uppercase letters. And we want to turn all of these letters after the first one into lowercase letters. So we need to add a second method. And we've got the two lowercase as an example given above in the instructions. And this would actually be what we need. It would give us in both examples that I've shown you here the correct result of capital B and then lowercase all. Let me delete it and then we'll run the test. And we're good. Well, let us go over one of these examples just to make everything clear. So here we've got the word code on what does our function do. Well, we've used the C right here. It's at index zero. We've turned it to uppercase. It was already uppercase, so it stays A capital C. And then we've sliced the word on the first position. So we have ODE left and we've turned that into lowercase, which is why we get the correct result of code. If you've understood that, the rest is not that hard to do. Let us go to task three. What we now need is the last letter of a sentence. In the example, we've got H, O, R. And you can see that these lines have different length. And we also need to find a way to get rid of white space right here. So how can we do that? At first, let's take care of the white space with the trim method. And reference, we can find it right here. We've got the greeting with a lot of white space. And if we trim greeting, we get hello world without any white space. So. Let's do that first to our line. Line equals line dot trim. Don't forget the parent this. So this has already helped us in solving the first issue. We don't have any white space anymore. Now we need to find a way to target the last letter of a line. And to do that, we need to first find out how long a line is. Now we've got the length property that we can use. So line dot length. We need to store it somewhere, so let us create a new variable. So let length of line equals line on length. So in this example where it says cat, the line length would be three, as the word cat has three letters. Now we've got everything that we need, and we can return our results. So what we need is to return the line. We've already trimmed it, so there is no white space in it anymore. But we need to only return the last letter. So we need the length of line, but we need to subtract one position of it. As the length, you can see it right here with the cat starts at one. So the C is the first letter, then A is the second and T the third. But the index starts at zero. So cat has a length of three, but index positions of zero, one, and two. Let me give you another example. Let's say house. House has a length of five, as it has five letters. But the index starts at zero, so it only goes from zero to four. Therefore, the last letter E is in index 4, even though it has a length of 5. 
and therefore we'll have to subtract 1 from the length of line variable that we've created. Let me run the test here and we should be good with our third task. So all of these examples work. The first line here, it has white space. We've used the trimming method right here to get rid of it. Then we had to find out the line length for stand so high without the white space. We've used the length property for that. And we'll use length of line, our new variable, minus one to find the last index position. Let's go to task four, which is already the final task. And we'll have to be polite, so we'll have to add please at the end. There's an example below with the word horse. So the word horse has been changed so that the first letter is now an uppercase letter and all the other ones are lowercase. We've already created a function for that. And it was the one for task two, if we recall correctly, right here, the front door password. And we can just copy this function instead of rewriting the entire code line in it. I'll just paste it here. And now we'll add the please. The way to do it is to use the plus sign and quotation marks, comma, leave a space and then add the word please. And this should already be it for task four. And this is how we can get past the fifth exercise, the poetry club door policy on exorcism. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.